welcome back to my channel, Planty Princess 92. My name's Ashley, for those of you who are just joining me. And today, again, we have my special guest, my daughter, Sienna. Today, we have a really awesome unboxing. So, Green Spaces ID is a plant-based um, seller located in Indonesia. And I know I've seen multiple reviews, good and bad, so I'm excited as well as a little bit anxious and nervous to see what awaits me inside this box. I've ordered four plants from them. This is my first order. So I ordered May 1st. It got shipped out the 10th of June and got delivered today. So once it shipped, it was in the mail for five days and got delivered on the fifth day. So we'll go ahead, we'll get right into it, um, and I'll show you each plant that I ordered. It's going to be exciting. It is going to be exciting. I've been waiting for this, as you know, for over a month. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to see what... Be careful, remember. What's inside. No plants are harmed. Yes, no plants will be harmed in the making of this video. Okay. So, I just cut around the edges of the box and left the back one attached so I could just flip it open. As you can see, it's um, insulated with cotton. Um, if you have saw uh, Green Space ID unboxings before, you know that they flatten their plants out really well, wrap them in tape, uh, wrap them in paper, and then tape the root balls up in... Um, I think it's sphagnum or something like that. So now each plant is labeled. Yes, you want to grab me your scissors? Thank you. My trusty assistant is grabbing her scissors. Bear with us. Thank you. Okay, so our first one, this is labeled Opacum, Opacum, but it's the, I believe it's the Monstera Peru. Careful. Don't break my plants, girl. I won't break this <laughs> one. All right. So, so far. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. I hope they, oh my gosh. I hope they all look like this. Okay. So, yes, this is the Monstera Peru. And that's a really nice cutting that like that's a really nice plant yeah oh my God. and as you see what they did here with the new growth coming in here they wrapped it up so that it didn't get damaged through shipping now on the box it does show that uh it was checked in customs um and it was checked by Indonesian Customs, so that makes me assume that it was checked twice because I would assume it would be checked as well when it came to the U.S. also. So I will undo the root ball to show you guys um, the roots as well. I know I don't want to wait till the end, till the end of the video to go through the roots. I, I'm hoping the roots look as well as the plant. Hopefully. Hmm. Now, I am using kitty scissors to do this. I suggest using real scissors. Because <laughs> kitty scissors don't cut through anything. And plus, that's the only kind of scissors we have up here. That's okay. Okay. I am so excited now to see the rest of these plants being this one came in so healthy. Am, am I? Do you guys get this excited when, when you're ordering and unboxing plants? Or is it just me? <laughs> I so it's, it's wrapped in tissue that was, um, at one point, it's still a little bit uh, damp, but so it was, you know, misted before they put it all into the box, yeah. which keeps the root ball nice and moist and prevents it from drying out. Now all of these, ooh. Oh my gosh. Um, depending on what type of plant. I have, I'll be sticking them in water for 24 hours just so they can acclimate a little bit. Um, 
I will probably actually be growing some of these semi-hydroponically in LECA. So if I decide that's the case, then after 24 hours, I will stick them right into the LECA with, nutrient, uh, with a nutrient solution. Those are really nice roots. They're healthy, no rotten roots whatsoever. That's beautiful. And again, like as you can see here, the way the light runs through some of the foliage, it kind of looks like it's like sort of see-through. <laughs> it's really pretty, really beautiful. Oh, that is a whole so that was the Monstera Peru. Next we have, oh Magic. my God, I'm so nervous for this. Okay, so this is the Syngonium Magic Marble. And it's so interesting the way the leaves look on this, at least in the picture. It's almost as if they were like, old paper burnt and crisped around the edges except it looks nicer than it being burnt but <laughs> <laughs> that's very true yes but it looked so neat and i was i've never seen one of these before oh my god it's everything i ever hoped for oh my god got it show it to the camera isn't that so beautiful so let me just get in here and just show you a close up of like what I mean. It's very pretty. So do you see how like the yeah. edges are kind of like, they almost look like they've been burned away like old an old piece of paper or something. <laughs> it's like the Declaration of Independence in plant form. Yeah. Syngonium Magic Marble. It's perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was nervous about this one. But now you don't have to be. All right, I, I'm hoping the last two are going to be just as beautiful. All right, so now if you can see on this one, there is, which is not unusual for Syngoniums. They're, they're pretty easy in shipping as in with care as well. But you know, we, you see we have two little yellowing uh, leaves here that will obviously be on their way out. <laughs> but they're lower leaves, they're older leaves, so I'm not too worried about it. The rest of the plant looks really wonderful. So as long as the root system matches the plant, we should be in fantastic shape. That's a relief. Yes, it is. You don't want it dying. No, we do not. You get it. And again, this, um, this tissue paper is also still moist. Ooh. So that should be just fine. Can't wait to see the roots. Me too. Now, what's nice is even if you have like a dying plant, if the root system's healthy, there's always a really great chance that you'll be able to bring it back and save it. So the most important part uh, on any plant when you order them online or you know even get them in the store is the root system. If the root system's healthy, there's always a chance for recovery. That is very true. That's very true. Come on, little girl. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay, okay, here she comes. So this one as well is looking really good. It's a little tangled up in the tissue paper, so let me just separate this here. Probably mostly because it's probably like a couple, oh. couple different stem cuttings like in one. Yeah, it is. That's okay, I knew that was gonna come off. So you see we have that one leaf come off, but that's okay, there's plenty more. So this root system again is very extensive, <laughs> very healthy. I like that I am one. very proud. I am a proud plant mother today. <laughs> like you're a proud real mother yes. today as well. So again, the foliage on this beautiful little princess is so amazing. When I came across this, I just couldn't even believe it. I had to have this one. All right, so that was the Syngonium Magic Marble. Next up, we have the Hastatum, so the Philodendron Silver Sword. This is one that I was really um, interested in getting and excited to have on um, the pictures I've seen online. Now, all of these plants I've never seen in person, only uh, ever through pictures, videos, um, online. So, the silver that it looks like this has when the light hits it is 
so beautiful and I can only hope it really has that effect like in real life. So again, you can see that they wrapped some of the stems to prevent them from damaging and uh, breaking in shipment, which was very nice. This is also another great, beautiful plant. And you can see the silver to it, which is what I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure when the light hits it, the reflection will make that even more silvery. Hopefully. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. I can't wait to open. So, so far, three out of four plants, the foliage has been 100%, I would give a 10 out of 10, and the roots have been 100%, a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves here or jinx us. Well, actually, it would be 5,000 out of 5,000. I really love how they wrap, wrap the stems like that where there's uh, new growth, and that's why they did that, because there's new growth coming in to prevent it from snapping off. So cute. the new growth is coming in there, and that's why they wrapped it, to keep it uh, sturdy. You happy you got these? I am very happy I got these. 500 out of 500. 500 out of 500. So, um... Obviously, when you buy from um, out of the country, you buy a um, phytosanitary certificate. So that cost $25, and then the shipping cost $45. So although you get the, chan uh, the plants at a reasonable price, with those two things, you're spending $25 and $45. So you're spending $70 bucks in addition to the plants. So I only ordered four because I didn't know what this um, unboxing was going to look like. But now that I know next time I order, I will order a few more. That way it's, you know, worth buying the photo sanitary certificate as well as the $45 shipping, which actually isn't that bad um, coming all the way from Indonesia. And as quickly as it came. <laughs> the worst part is the month waiting for them to ship it. Well, it was worth it. It was, yes. So these look like they're going to be a little bit smaller. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, they're a little dried out. But that's all right. They're, they're savable. They're not dead. <laughs> they're just a little bit dry. Which won't be a problem at all. So I'll show you guys these roots and for something like this is when I would stick um, is when I would stick it in water and I'd probably keep this in water for a few days to get the roots nice and plump and healthy again absorbing some water um, and then I'll transfer it to grow semi hydroponically as you can see the roots they're not dead they're just they're just dried out but they will come back as well as grow additional roots um, you know as it acclimates and starts to grow. So I'm very happy with all of these plants. This leaf, you can really see the silver, silver in it. Yeah. This one. And this was the only little little bit of damage on this one. <laughs> so, well, luckily it wasn't like ripped off. The roots have been good. The foliage has had little damage to no damage. <laughs> little, no breakage. Two yelling leaves on the Syngonium. <laughs> So, so far, this has been a very pleasing experience, a very happy order. So now this last one is known mainly as uh, the Monstera, the variegated Monstera. Oh my gosh, I ripped the tip of a oh, We I'm promise so sorry. no plants are on this video. It would have came off anyways, you see that, it's rotten, it wasn't me. <laughs> She'll be okay, I promise, I promise. Okay, what was I saying? I don't even remember. But mom, remember, we promised no plants would be harmed. Yes, in the she wasn't harmed. Video. I promise she wasn't harmed. Um, what was I saying? Oh, this plant. So <laughs> this plant is commonly known as the variegated Monstera standiliana. Um, on their website, it's called the Philodendron Cobra, so they're the same thing. It's just uh, referred to as something different yes. over there. 
Um, it is a Monstera uh, Standuliana. Um, I, I've been wanting one of these for a while now. These plants get pretty pricey here in the United States. So to find this over here, to find this over there, uh, at the price I got it at was a lot better. I think I got all four of these plants for $175, and that's including the $25 phytosanitary certificate and the $45 shipping. So being as I got all these plants for maybe a little bit over what one of these plants would have cost, <laughs> you have a great deal. Even if they do come through a little banged up. But if they're savable, what? it's a great deal. Remember, but it was worth it. It was worth it. In the end, it was worth it. Yes, very worth it. All right, so this is our last plant, the variegated Monstera Standiliana. As you can see, this is the newest leaf because it's the lightest and has, isn't even hardened off yet. So we have four leaves total and another one coming in right there. Very healthy and, and extensive root system once again. And this one I will also stick in water. All these I'm going to stick in water for a few days. Um, the three... The Standiliana, the Peru, and the Syngonium, I'm going to stick in water for 24 hours, and then I'm going to transfer them over into the Lucca. Um, but the Hastatum Silver Sword, I'm going to leave in water for a few days until I see the roots pump, plump up a little bit, only because they're so dry. Um, so yeah, this was my order from Green Spaces ID from Indonesia. They all came through really healthy, really great, really nice sized plants and I'm super excited. I would recommend buying from them and I will be ordering from them myself again. Uh, on the website, you do have a choice for purchasing the phytosanitary certificate or not. I would recommend doing that because they will check it and they will look through it. And if you don't have that phytosanitary certificate, they might keep your order and you know, then it's not on them. That, that was a waste of money. Um, the shipping I had available to me was DHL. Again, that was $45. And like I said, it came in five days once it shipped. So it was relatively quick. The package came in really nice condition. There was no dings, no, no dents, no rips. So the box was in really great shape when it arrived. The packaging was really fantastic. Um, and you just always have to keep in mind that when you order from anywhere online, um, you know, the plants go through stress. So it's not necessarily the seller's fault. It's not necessarily the shipper's fault. You have to keep that in mind. You know, you, you don't know how each individual plant is, is going to handle that type of stress. They're not, you know, they're not used to that, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful unboxing. I know I did. It was really great and I hope um, this gave you another review to help you consider your ordering for greenspaces.com. Um, I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to um, buy plants for them and see how they turned out. So I'm very happy that I did. Thank you guys again for watching another video unboxing with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide, as well as check out my Instagram for daily plant content. Uh, my Instagram is instagram.com forward slash plantyprincess92. Thank you guys again for watching. Bye! Every plant's a princess!